So there are currently six no-code web app builders that are dominating the market. And the things that you can build to them are absolutely crazy. You can build Facebook clones, ChatGPT clones, Airbnb clones, and any other idea that you might have in mind for your startup, all without writing a single line of code. However, each one of these tools has its own strength and its own weakness. And they're all meant for slightly different use cases. So how do you make sure that you choose the right tool and don't waste the next two to four weeks building out your idea just to have to rebuild build it on another platform. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the strengths and weaknesses of each one of these web app builders, what each one of them is best suited for, and help you choose the right one for your business. Let's get into it. So we can start off a list of web app builders without mentioning Bubble, because at this point, Bubble is basically the industry standard for building no-code web apps. Bubble offers you a drag and drop builder where you can choose all these different components and then drag and drop them together to build a UI. And then you can build the backend, the different logic for different functionalities and then connect different APIs for integration with other apps. And you can build pretty much anything that bubble. You can build two-sided marketplaces, you can build complex web apps, SaaS businesses, AI startups. The limit is really just up to your creativity. And actually now they're also working on a mobile app builder. So soon you'll also be able to use bubble to build native mobile apps. So Let's check it out. So this is Bubble's website, and they promise that you can design, develop, and launch production-grade applications without any code, which is true. As you can see, they all have over 3 million apps that have been built on Bubble already, which receive over 3 billion page views per year. And Bubble users have already done over $15 billion in fundraising. And they also show off their impressive 6.5 thousand integrations and plugins. The main thing that Bubble promises that is that you can build anything without code. And it's true. Basically, you have a drag and drop builder where you can bring in different elements together and build the ui of your app and then for the back end you basically use their workflow feature to create complex functionality automations and connect different apis it has a robust hosted infrastructure making it very easy to publish your app and make it go live you don't have to mess with any of those things it has very good collaboration functionality meaning that you can work on your project with multiple people at the same time it has a very good responsive engine where you basically build out your app in columns as well as rows that's basically how bubble will resize different elements to make it responsive on all different devices see bubble has been around since 2012 and because of that they have built a very big and impressive community because of that there are a lot of templates that have been created by other users some of these templates are frameworks which allows you to literally like use pre-built components to build your app at very high speed some of these are literally like entire apps where you can just change the design change some of the functionality and your ready to test out your MVP. Some of them are like pre-built UI elements. Some of them are pre-built logic elements. The list honestly goes on and on. It also has a lot of plugins and that's what allows for very deep integration. You can integrate with Airtable, Figma, Google Maps, Google Analytics, Stripe, Zapier, Make, and many other tools. And they have a very good academy where you can learn how to build as you're building your startup. The pricing starts at $0 a month where you can literally just start learning for free. And the beginner plans are only $30 a month where you can publish your app, you can connect your custom domain, you can connect different workflows, you have version control, and you can have up to 175 workload units per month. And once your app is already getting some traffic, you can upgrade to growth, which is only $120 a month, and you basically get multiple editors, two-factor authentication, even more workload units. And if you get the team membership, you get up to five editors. You can also do sub apps, 25 custom branches, and even more workload units. And if you want to see some of the apps that have already built on Bubble, you can head over to bubble.io and check out their showcase tab. They have different stories here of founders that have used Bubble and launched their app and went on to raise millions of dollars. And I also have a few videos on my channel where I talk about some of the success stories. So feel free to check out those as well. The one disadvantage of Bubble that many users complain about is that you cannot export code. Meaning that once you build on Bubble, you're pretty much stuck on Bubble. You can just export your code and like bring it to your own hosting or pass it on to developers. And even if you were able to export code from Bubble, you wouldn't be able to run it as it's designed to run on the Bubble platform. However, Bubble does mention that if you wanted to move off from Bubble to another platform, they'll do their best to support the transfer. They'll help you export the front end, but unfortunately the back end you'll have to rebuild from scratch. And they do mention that if anything were to happen to Bubble, they will make the Bubble engine open source. 
While Bubble.io is the industry standard for building web apps, Webflow is the industry standard for building websites with no code. So why is it even on the list of web app builders? Well, although Webflow is designed to build websites, it actually does come with a lot of web app functionality. And a lot of the people who are designers might not want to use Bubble because their UI builder is quite limited. And with Webflow, it's a much nicer experience to build the UI. Webflow promises that you can take control of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all on a visual canvas. It generates clean semantic code that's ready to publish or hand to developers. As you can see, they have an absolutely beautiful UI for building your website where you can enter custom code or you can build everything without code. You can style everything. You can add in 3D elements and a lot more. It has fully customizable page structure, allows you to style everything to perfection, create beautiful and complex animation. You can easily integrate a CMS for blogs or information rich websites, and you can publish instantly. There's many apps that you can integrate Webflow with to allow complex functionality and to actually build a web app, not just a static landing page, but where Webflow becomes really powerful and actually becomes a web app builder is when you integrate with apps like Wise. Wise expands onto the functionality of Webflow and, and allows you to build on web app functionality. So it allows you to use Webflow as the front end and basically WISE will be the back end where all the logic and all of the integrations come through. It allows you to build login functionality and Stripe payment flows. You can integrate the website with REST API. And here are the features that WISE has. It has actions where you can trigger actions inside your application using WISE. You can input data inside Webflow and then it will go into the database. You can load in and display data inside Webflow from any kind of source and database, for example, Stripe, Zapier, Make, Firebase, or Airtable. You can send out data to the database from user interactions so users can interact on Webflow and then that data will go through WISE to be able to process or trigger certain things. And it can actually add in user authentication so you can gate certain content or load in information just for specific users and as you can see all of this is done for no code you basically just click and then define the functionality you can create triggers on click to initiate data in and data out requests you can create triggers on change you can use actions to display certain loaded data on the page and you can add custom visibility logic you can also connect your app to Airtable, stripe firebase and it works the zapier or make to make webhooks so that allows even deeper functionality and it works with any REST API. The pricing for WISE is starts at free where you'll be paying a 5% transaction fee from Stripe and then you'll be using a webflow.io subdomain and then once you pay $20 you can have up to 10,000 page views. The Stripe fee goes down to only 3% and you can use a custom domain and then at $80 a month you can have up to 100,000 page views and the Stripe transaction fee goes down to 2%. At $120 the transaction fee goes to 1% and you can have up to a million page views. But the functionality is all the same. So you'll basically be adding that price on top of the Webflow pricing. So if you're going to be building a web app on Webflow, you'll probably be using CMS or the business plan. So whatever the fee that was for WISE, you'll be adding that on top of the Webflow subscription as well. So if you're paying $20 on WISE, you'll also be paying $20 here, so it'll be $40 total. Or let's say you're paying $40 on WISE then $40 here, so it'll be $80 total. So the price is not that far off from Bubble. But if the design is one of the most important things to you and you don't need like this crazy, crazy functionality, just you need some API functionality as well as database functionality, then Webflow could be a great option. So while most no-code builders are designed for regular entrepreneurs and regular no-code developers, Betty Blocks takes a little bit of a different approach as they are focused on providing a builder specifically for enterprises and citizen developers. A citizen developer is simply someone with low or no coding experience at all that creates software applications for their team or business to use this software that is approved by the company's IT department. We all know that within enterprises, there are a lot of security protocols, a lot of the software that is used has to be safe and approved for enterprise use. And that's exactly what Betty Blocks promises because it's designed with security in mind and it's actually ISO certified. Let's check out the tool. The number one solution for building low code and no code solution for citizen developers. It promises that you can build enterprise applications fast. You can develop innovative digital products that generate new revenue streams at your business or your workplace. You can equip business professionals and IT, the, the tool that where they can innovate together and you can use it to automate important businesses processes. It is secure, 
flexible, reusable, and it has deep integrations. It has integrations that Slack, Adobe Sign, HiQ, iManage, uh, MessageBird, Outlook, Salesforce, Google Maps, and is trusted by hundreds of enterprises around the world. So if you need an no-code tool for an enterprise need, then Betty Blocks is your first bet. So Betty Blocks promises that you can build at the speed of light, that virtually to no effort, you can build complex apps fast, and you can push innovation to new heights at your business. And Betty Blocks is a great solution for industries such as legal, finance, insurance, government, and engineering and construction. This is the industries that they're targeting with their no-code tool. Now, if Bubble.io was not a choice for you and you need something where you do own your code, then DrabCode is a no-brainer as it allows you to build full-stack web apps without writing a single line of code and all of the code that DrabCode generates for you, you own it. You can export it, host it on your own servers and do whatever you want with it. It also has better data encryption, more UI flexibility, and because DrabCode applications run in standalone environment, you can choose where it's hosted, meaning that you can provide much better experience for audiences in specific regions. So DrabCode empowers everybody to build no-code web apps 10 times faster, did full access to the code. As you can see, it has 100% custom UI. You can import CSS and JavaScript. You can connect all of your existing data, integrate plugins, preview changes, and set up background tasks like emails, reminders, API calls, etc. It also allows for quick hosting where you can connect to custom CSS domain as well as HTTPS certificates. And you can also host as a PWA, so progressive web app for mobile. What can you build a drop code? Well, you can build custom onboarding tools. You can build marketplaces, dashboards, client portals, SaaS platforms, as well as back office portals. There's been already 8,000 apps created at DropCode and it's been used for 12,000 builders with over 62,000 pages designed. And some of the most common integrations are with Airtable, Xano, Firebase, Superbase, and Salesforce. But it allows for many other integrations as well. But the most important feature that people probably look, look out here for is the source code export. You can literally just export the entire code for your app unlike many other tools. Meaning that you have full authority over your code you have full control the pricing starts at free zero dollars a month where you can build one web app and you have full access to all features you can build 15 pages 2000 records of data have two plugins and 0.5 gigabytes of storage now the professional starts at 95 dollars a month where everything else is included and you can host your web app, have up to 75 pages, unlimited data, and the growth plan, which is $275 a month, you get up to free web apps, 100 pages, 15 plugins, and 10 gigabytes of storage. The pricing is a bit steeper than Bubble, but that's pretty good for an app that allows you to export your own code. But if you're not going to be using Drop Code for hosting, and you just choose to host it yourself, once you export the code, it'll be a minimum of $1,000 yearly for professional, or $2,500 yearly for the growth plan. And the next tool is Back Endless, which is another full stack web app builder. It provides you with both front end and back end tools to help you build a startup without writing a single line of code. It is very similar to Bubble functionality wise, but the main differences are that Back Endless has overall better performance and Back Endless is also able to build native mobile apps. But Bubble, on the other hand, has a much bigger community, more plugins, and a lot more integrations. So Back Endless promises that it has everything that you need to build high performance apps in one place. Scalable, extensible, and affordable. Originally, Backendless was actually a low-code tool, but now they've also released this no-code tool, which allows you to build pretty much anything you want. It already has thousands of developers. It has real-time integrated database. It has codeless logic and APIs, and its approach to logic and APIs is actually completely different, unlike any other tool. If you see this, you might recognize Scratch and remember how easy it is to build logic in there. Basically, you have this like blocks and it's very easy to see exactly what's happening. I honestly love this approach. I think it makes it very, very easy to understand what you're building. It has a very beautiful and easy to understand UI builder, user management, data vi visualization. It can also send push notifications. It comes to the front end and the back end. So they have three different pricing models. So the first one is back endless cloud pricing. It starts at free where you can have up to 50 API requests per minute, 10 database tables, one gigabyte of file storage. So you can basically use this one to start building out your app. But once you publish it, you'll probably want to upgrade to the scale plan where it starts at $15 a month, but you get unlimited API requests, 
100 database tables, 10 gigabytes of file storage. And basically the way it works there is that you will pay extra depending on the different functionality that you need. And I absolutely love this approach because you don't need to pay for extra things that you're not using. You're only paying for the things that you need. Uh, you can check out the more information on the website. Like for example, 10 gigabytes of additional storage, you'll pay an extra $20 a month. If you need an extra 50 data tables, you'll pay an extra $25 a month. They're also pricing tiers where basically the more requests you have per minute, the more you're gonna pay. So let's say you have over a hundred requests per minute for the API. In that case, you'll be paying $4 a day. Or let's say you have a thousand requests per minute. In that case, you'll be paying $65 per day. And once you have an established business, that's when you'll probably upgrade to back endless pro. And that'll give you even more functionality, even more scale. And that pricing starts at $10,000 per year, where you get an entire virtual machine, all of the features, limitless functionality, regular updates, priority support. And if you wanted multiple servers, you're gonna be paying $50,000 a year. But this is basically once your business is already established, and you really need a lot of functionality. Now, do you remember how I've mentioned before that one of the strengths of Bubble is that it's a full stack development platform? Well, it could actually be a disadvantage as well, because when you're trying to do all the things at once, it's very hard to be perfect at everything. And that's exactly why WeWeb, which is another web app builder, instead of trying to become a full stack development platform like Bubble and Bank Endless, they decided to solely focus on the front end experience of building a web app. Out of all the tools that I've tested, WeWeb actually has the most intuitive front end builder. It allows you to build beautiful front-end experiences with ease and it has a great visual builder for the automations now because its focus is on the front end you will have to connect your own backend and the best backends i would recommend for that is xano and superbase although for some it might be a bit complicated to set up their own backend this actually comes with a few advantages one is that once again you're going to be using a tool that specializes in building backends so it'll be more powerful than most of the backends that come integrated with the web app builders meaning that it will have more functionality and be more scalable and two is that if your business already has a backend on one of the tools you won't have to migrate that you can just integrate that into WeWeb and you're ready to go and the other advantage of WeWeb is that you can actually also export the code which is pretty awesome so let's jump into it so this is the WeWeb's web page and the promise is that you can build production grade applications 10 times faster and as I mentioned before it's a no code front end builder that you can build on top of any backend and if you scroll down you'll be able to see their UI as you can see it's very very clean this is the UI that you'll be using to build your web app. WeWeb offers you full design freedom, meaning that you can build perfect experiences exactly the way you want. It has many different elements like data grid, Kanban, rich text inputs. But one of the things I really like about WeWeb is the approach that they take for building logic. You basically have this kind of layout where you set up your logic and seed visually. While Bubble, for example, takes a workflow approach where it has these blocks and then you choose it. It's much less visual than the WeWeb approach as you can literally just follow it and see the entire overview. And because it's so visual, it's actually much easier to build complex logic. You could see exactly what happens if, for example, one of the variables is false and then goes somewhere else. It's not as easy to visualize on tools like Bubble. But WeWeb's approach, in my opinion, is absolutely beautiful. And of course, it also has a lot of integrations. Let's check some of them out. So for data sources, you can use REST API, meaning that you can connect with any database that uses REST API, or you can connect with Airtable, Xano, Superbase, MySQL, and a few others. You can also set up authentication with Auth0 and Superbase Auth and Xano Auth. And of course, it has API integrations like Calendly, Typeform, Stripe, and a few others. And if you want to check out WeWeb more, you can go to the Showcase tab and check out some of the apps that have been built on WeWeb. There's quite a few here, but let's check out their pricing. So their pricing starts at zero dollars a month and that includes all features. So you can start using all of the features and learn exactly how to use this tool for free. This also includes templates and UI kits and community support. At $40 a month, you get your live application, custom domain, unlimited plugins, 50,000 monthly app visits, a gigabyte of storage, and code export, which is awesome. But at the 149 plan, you get up to 250,000 app visits, 10 gigabytes of file storage. You also get roles and permission, unlimited manual backups, production app staging, and production app versioning. But if you want to collaborate with other members on your team, you'll have to upgrade to the workspace plan. Meaning that if you want to have more than one editor on your app, you'll also have to play another $29 a month. So that's it for WeWeb. Honestly, their builder is world-class. So if you don't mind connecting a separate database, I would really consider checking it out as it's an awesome builder. And if you want to find out what are the best mobile app no-code builders, make sure to check out the video on the screen now.